And times they are a change and we've seen that through tens of thousands of layoffs from Amazon last fall, a staged walkout this spring like you see here and now a reckoning with the future for many employees like one woman who preferred not to share her name or face on camera over fears of burning a bridge with her employer. I really do love my job. Like I love Amazon and I love the role that I'm in. In her role, this woman remotely supports Amazon administrators who she says are based in various parts of the country. But now she says qualifications for a remote exemption are a whole lot stricter, according to her manager. She was like, hey, I just want to bring you up to speed about that remote work exemption. Like your family's personal reasons isn't quote unquote enough as a justification, so we need to have a plan. She had started her job at Amazon during the height of COVID while living in Seattle, but her husband ended up getting his dream job in the Midwest. When I told them that that could happen, and basically they're like, that's fine. So their family moved out of state. Now, in this email she provided King 5, Amazon executives are saying, quote, remote or virtual, we expect these team members to eventually be working primarily from an office with the rest of their team. But she says, I'm not going to be able to come back to Seattle. So she's now left to question. How can I plan my life? Will she still have a job next year? This is kind of bogus. Like, why can't I just have what I had before? She's now entertaining the thought of applying elsewhere. Meantime, Amazon hasn't said how many people this requirement would affect, just that there's more energy, collaboration, and connections happening since we've been working together at least three days per week. And we've heard this from lots of employees and the businesses that surround our offices. A spokesperson also said they'll continue to look at the best ways to bring more teams together in the same locations, communicating directly directly with employees as they make decisions that affect them. But still, questions linger. What is their definition of like enough to get that robo exemption now? And it's still unclear what would happen if they choose not to relocate. But Albert Squires, a Seattle-based tech recruiter with Fuel Talent, told me that stories like these are indicators that the pendulum is swinging back to the company side after being candidate-driven in the recent past. He says while strong candidates can still land fully remote roles, many of the top-paying companies are requiring a return to office now, which he believes will have a trickle-down effect to other companies in the coming months. I'm Maddie White. Madison?